ahead and grab them. Yep, mm -mm, not at all. <laughs> oh, wow. not at all. Hello. Hello. I'm Hudson. I'm 17. So I've been told you're a teen prodigy. Yeah, more or less. I'm in a girl band, play guitar, bass, I sing. What's up? I'm V. I classify as a percussionist. I teach high school band and orchestra. Do you associate certain instruments with certain people? Yeah, clarinet is like very studious and saxophone is like a little bit sillier and funnier, like very outgoing. Different people who play different instruments got different swag. If you come out here playing an oboe, I don't know what that swag is, but that's a certain swag. Today you're gonna match instrument to person. Ooh, let's do it. What if I get all of them wrong? I feel like that would be embarrassing as a music teacher. I'm ready. Let's bring in the line. Y'all look like musicians, I know that's right, swag. That's one thing we do have is swag, because we know we can play some music. Come on out here. I know that's right. Hi. Ready for your first instrument? I think I got this one. Whoa. <laughs> don't think I've ever seen this before. There you go. I don't know how it works necessarily. Maybe you like blow into it or something. <laughs> it's got a bag looking thing and it's got pipes, so. These are the bagpipes. What kind of person plays the bagpipes? A police officer or a firefighter. The only associations that I have with the bagpipes. I feel like younger person wouldn't play bagpipes. So I'm gonna narrow out you, also you. I feel like maybe this guy plays bagpipes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think I've heard enough. When I see bagpipe people, I feel like they kind of have to be very sturdy in their back. They keep their hands on their hips like that when they get done. <laughs> you smiling real hard like you've done it before. Come on up here. <laughs> Can I ask you some questions? What do you do? For work? Yeah. I'm a firefighter. <gasps> oh my gosh, these are yours! <laughs> I'm so sure. Hold it like you about to play. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say it's hers. I'm gonna say it's hers. It's the way she just kinda, she didn't fidget and I fidgeted trying to hold it. So, I'm gonna hand it to you. I think these are yours. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's bring out the next instrument. I mean, it seems like it's a string instrument, but I don't know what kind of string instrument. I feel like they're very, very traditional and like, this is a sacred moment, so I want to be very, very careful with it. Where do you think it's from? I don't know. I don't want to say. Give me a guess. I don't want to say the wrong thing. I just know it's not American and it ain't white man tainted. That's all I gotta say. It's not from here. Can I ask you some questions? Will you hold this for me? Sure. Okay. Wow, looks like you know what you're doing way more than I do. Do you know what this is? Uh, yeah, it's a... Uh... You don't know what it is <laughs> either. It's a Kamel Nigore. Yeah, so, see, see, I knew I wasn't tripping. So I'm gonna pass that to you like that. Let me see. Oh yeah, you know what's up. You look fun and quirky, and I think that this is something that matches that. Thank you. Okay, snare drum. Oh, this brings me so much joy. Okay, come on, little one. Come on over here. I'll bring you up, I'll bring you up. Drummers are really cool. They've got like, you know, the style, you know, the, and I feel like the skirt is very cute. It's very fashion forward. Cool kids play the drums. Name three drums in a normal kit. Toms, bass, snare. Okay, that was confident. <laughs> Go ahead and grab them. Yep, mm -mm, not at all. <laughs> oh, wow. not at all. Well, being a snare drummer is different from being like a trap set drummer. Like you just know they posture, how they stand, how they feet are like this, with their hands behind their back. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> I associate drummers with being a little bit like rowdier and getting on teachers' nerves a little bit. In high school, did you feel like you got on the teacher's nerves at all. And to be honest, <laughs> you can say that. I want you to go. It's him, it's him, <laughs> it is. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it was him. What are we looking at? I think this is a viola. Usually violas are heavier. Can I pick it up, is that okay? You can pick it up, yeah. I'll be very gentle. A viola is a very sophisticated instrument, orchestra. I'm thinking like cultured. The strings in the in the band, they real picky and fancy and they bougie. They up here, percussion right here, and everybody else is underwards, but. Who looks a little bougie? 
not bougie, but this would, this the way you got your poise, cause you like, I feel like, I feel like this is you. I think it belongs to you. I feel like my viola players are not quite as intense as my violin players. <laughs> a little bit quirky, but in a like kind of laid back way. And you give me both of those vibes. Right. Okay, yeah. You're totally a viola player. She popped it up with confidence. She's got the like right, the arm, totally right. The bow hold, perfect. <laughs> um, yeah, this is a match. Oh, is this the, um, Dang, what's it called? You kind of like blow in and it makes like a really, really cool sound. Oh my gosh, is this a, a rain thingy? No, <laughs> clearly not. I don't know what this is. I'll ask you. Do you know what this instrument this is? It's a didgeridoo. Can you hold it for me? Okay. Uh, I don't know if that's right or not, because again, I've never met anyone in person who has played a didgeridoo. Who do you think would play the didgeridoo? Someone like curious and inquisitive, like wants to be a little bit different. Do you feel like those, any of those labels would apply to you? Yeah. Yeah? So. Okay, then I think this is it. I think I'm gonna go with my man here. Come on up here, darling. You think you know what it is? I know what it is. You know what it is? What is it? A didgeridoo. A didgeridoo? Okay. This is his. Last instrument. Yes, saxophone. I've always wanted to play the saxophone. I think this belongs to you. Do you want me to do a stage entrance? Yeah, okay. I do. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. <laughs> I think saxophone players in high school, from my experience, tend to be very fun and silly, and I definitely get that from you. All right, how do you think you did? You know, I would say pretty good, actually. I feel confident. One at a time, they're gonna play this instrument that they're holding. Okay, okay. And then you get to find out through their playing if you were right or wrong. Okay, let's okay? see, let's do it. <laughs> Their correct instrument. Oh goodness. Oh gosh, okay, that's where I went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Bagpipes. What That's was fun. the most embarrassing moment with your bagpipe? What is uh, happened? I'm actually in a firefighter pipe band. Period, okay. Yeah, okay. so part of the kilting ceremony in a pipe band is that you would have to take off your underwear from underneath your kilt in front of a large group of people, including my ex. Oh, that's the devil. And oh, Jesus. my no. mom. Not mama. So how did you start playing drums? It's kind of been in my family for a long time. Like I'm actually Cuban, I'm Cuban African American, and my great great grandfather played, my grandfather, then my dad, and so it's like wow. been passed down. That's awesome. Give me a flam tap paradiddle. Oh yeah, that's good. That's it, my man. You know what's up? Give me some. Yes. Again. Uh, uh, this is called the Kamel Nagoni. Why did you choose this instrument? I play uh, guitar and banjo, and once I found this instrument, I was I feel like this is the instrument that I most relate to. Awesome. <laughs> I 
long you been playing? I've started playing violin at nine. I'm a double. I work on six instruments. Okay. Violin, viola, voice, I told you. bass, <laughs> guitar, and piano. What I say about violinists, they know what they're talking about, they know how to do it, they bougie. I play a few, <laughs> I play a couple of instruments. That sounds so cool, oh my gosh. Do you have any interesting stories with the didgeridoo? Some of my coworkers wanted me to play the didgeridoo, so I brought it over to work, played it for like five minutes, then we went and ate hot pot, and then when I was driving home, you know, it didn't really sit right, and then I, you know, kind of shit myself, and then I had to... So did you shit yourself because of the didgeridoo, or...? Oh, no, it was the food. The food kind of fucked up my stomach. Wow. Okay, so it's not like an every didgeridoo player thing. I hope not. I hope not. <laughs> All right. Can you play Daddy's Home by Usher? Can you sing it first? Like Daddy's Home, home for me. And I don't Yeah. I thought that was amazing. I love music. Music is the purest form of love, purest form of healing. Every one of y'all, thank y'all for showing me y'all talents. It's truly an honor to be in y'all's presence. Thank you guys so much. That was amazing.